Trump gave James Mattis the order that will stop the caravan dead in its tracks. The migrant caravan thought the coast was clear. Nearly 6,000 migrants had amassed at the border in preparation of an invasion. But then Donald Trump gave the order that stopped the caravan dead in its tracks. Donald Trump authorizes military to defend against violent migrants. Americans were horrified by a video from Mexico that showed violent migrants in the caravan running rushot over Mexican law enforcement and military. Thugs throwing rocks, bottles, and Molotov cocktail bombs had stormed through barriers on their way to the U.S. Southern border. Donald Trump was not about to allow a repeat of that debacle. So his administration authored a memo allowing the military to use force to defend themselves if necessary. The White House memo revealed the caravan may prompt incidents of violence and disorder that could threaten U.S. Customs and Border Personnel and other United States government personnel performing the federal functions necessary to secure and protect the integrity of the southern border. Trump's memo which was signed by Chief of Staff John Kelly declared the military was authorized to use the show or use of force, including lethal force, where necessary, crowd control, temporary detention, and cursory search, in order to stop the caravan if the migrants became violent. Mattis told reporters that the mission parameters had not yet changed. The military was just on the border to provide logistical support. That's because the fake news media took this common sense step to whip up scare stories of troops gunning down women and children in a bloody massacre. James Mattis shuts down the fake news media. This was all fake news according to Mattis. There has been no call for any lethal force from the Department of Homeland Security, Mattis said. We don't have guns in their hands right now other than a couple of non-commissioned officers who at any point, are armed for force protection.